Today, guys, we're gonna talk about customizing your meeting templates. Many of you that are in digital note taking and daily planning often attend meetings where you're taking notes. If you're familiar with the Key to Success Planner, we've had a meeting template that helps you organize your thoughts and ideas for the meetings so that when you get into them, the questions that you have, the answers that you need, you're able to harvest as you work through that meeting. We also have the ability for you to recap what that meeting looks like to give you a stronger, more laser approach to the next meeting while you work on following up with those tasks that you have on your plate. But over the last few years, a lot of you guys have come to us and said, hey, Brandon, I want to add and tweak this meeting page. I want to be able to add projects. I want to be able to expand on the task list. I want to be able to segregate some of the information or add additional note pages. Well, guys, over the last year, we've been introducing tiles. And if you're not familiar with tiles, they're like digital stickers, but they're professional and they're designed so that you can take these tiles, these elements, and build and customize your own pages. So today, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can use this tile to personalize your meeting agendas and your meeting notes, and how you can use it in OneNote as well as GoodNotes, so you can see how that's gonna work for you for personalizing your meeting pages. So stay with me. Well, as promised, the first thing we're gonna show you is how you can use and customize your meeting tiles, your template across OneNote. Now, just so you know, OneNote is a universal application. Today, we're gonna to illustrate this with the iPad, but if you use OneNote, you can also do this with several other devices, including your desktop and personal computers. OneNote allows you to sync across everything from Windows, Apple, Android, and even some e-ink reader devices like the Onyx Books. So even though we're using the iPad, the interface is very similar across the other OS systems. So know that you can continue to do this in any of those applications and devices as well. So with OneNote, you guys are familiar with the meeting page itself. We've been using this for the last number of years, and we talked about how it helps you organize your uh, attendees, what the agenda is, the sketch space is really designed to help you kind of get your thoughts and ideas, give you clarity on what this meeting is about, and then a place for you to have the tasks and projects listed, and then on the right side of the screen, an area for notes, and then a meeting recap, action steps, and follow-up. Many of you guys, like I said, address that, hey, Brandon, we need more note pages. We want to expand on additional tasks. We want to be able to put timelines in here. And we've been able to do that with tiles. So the first thing, before you get started, after you make your purchase, you're going to get a download. And that download is going to include all the elements that you can use with the PDF annotation apps, as well as a zip file that you can use with OneNote. Now, you are going to follow our standard importing process for our planning system if you're using a PDF annotation app or you're using OneNote. Once you've imported that, you are then able to go ahead and move and create your tiles. So on my desktop here, you can see that I have the notebook imported and I have the meeting tiles listed right here. When I click on that, it's going to give me tiles meetings and I'm gonna see my backgrounds, my templates, and a couple examples. Now what I encourage a lot of people to do is go ahead and right click on that and hit copy section two, and then go ahead and choose the notebook that you wanna copy it to. So if you're purchasing our 2023 planner, 2024 planner, or beyond, you can go ahead, select the planner, and then go ahead and hit copy, and that'll actually take that section and move it right in that planner. So that way, when you're working in the planner itself, you're able to easily use these components and copy them from one page to the next. So say if I'm on my iPad, for example, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the template page that looks like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap and hold, and I'm gonna create a copy of it. I'm gonna create a copy of it just in here, so I'm just gonna go under meeting pages. So if I back out and click on meeting pages, you're gonna see that template is listed right here. Now I wanna go ahead and customize that page. How can I do so? Well, I can go ahead and go back to tiles, click on backgrounds, and you can see I have a selection of agenda tiles to work with, brainstorming tiles, and task tiles. All of these are the individual elements that I'm able to use. So then all I need to do is tap on one of these, hit copy, move back over to the page I was working with, in text mode, tap and hold and hit paste. Now these have already been sized for you, so you don't need to resize them. And what's really nice about that is that way when you go ahead and you tap and hit set picture as background, now I can go ahead and I can write on top of that I can also go ahead 
tap on it with the cursor and start to type. And using the lasso tool, I can select that text and frame it where I want that to be in the tile. So what you do is you simply go through the process of selecting the different elements that you want from the background page and go ahead and copy those in to your actual template. And then the template when it's finished could look something like this here. Now, many of you guys have asked me about additional notes and expanding beyond the border. And that's what's so powerful about OneNote is you can actually go in and you can expand on your infinite workspace and continue to add more tiles to your page. So here you can expand and put down additional note tiles. One thing that I think is really cool, especially in a, a business where I have multiple departments and I know there's gonna be different tasks for different people, is I come in here and I click on the task tile Coming to my meeting page template, as we were just showing, I'll often come off to the side of the page here and I'll paste in my task tile. And then I can go below that and I can paste another one and have multiple task tiles. And then, for example, this might be a task that the marketing department is going to work on and this might be something that accounting needs to address. So if you have multiple departments at a meeting or you want to segregate any of the tasks, so if you're in a construction industry and you want to showcase what maybe what your contractors are doing versus what your own tasks for your own staff and employees are doing as well, this is a great example to do that. You can even separate the tasks that the group needs to do versus what you need to do. So that right there is a look at using our tiles in OneNote. Now I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and use these tiles using GoodNotes. Keep in mind, even though we're using GoodNotes, the process is very similar across all the PDF annotations. Everything from the importing to the copying of the page to importing the individual elements as usually picture files. Now, if you are familiar with digital stickers and heard of digital stickers, again, tiles are digital stickers. They're just our professional version of them. So if you see other elements across the internet that you want to import into these pages, you can do that as well. Or if you're using other digital planners, you can take our tiles and pull those into your PDF planners as well. So a lot of opportunities here. So let's take a look at how you might do this in GoodNotes. I've already went through the process of downloading my tile images onto my device. So with the iPad, if I go into files, you can see under my downloads, I have a tiles folder. And under here, I have a folder called PDF app images. In here, I'm going to find all the individual tiles as well as the sample pages that I can use to build my template. So go ahead and close this. And we're going to go ahead and open up GoodNotes. In here, I'm going to open up my Key to Success Planner. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump back to my key page. And one thing that I like to do, especially with our planner, is I like to use a pre-existing page in our notes section as part of my tiles, or I will go into the meetings section and pull from a meeting page. So seeing we're doing meetings, I'm just gonna come up here where it says meeting one, and I am gonna go ahead and write sample meeting. This is gonna allow me to utilize this hyperlink that's located right here. I'm gonna tap on that, and that's gonna pull me inside the meeting pages. I'm gonna expand the page sorter and see right here I'm selected on this particular page. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button here and I'm gonna add a page after. And then I'm gonna choose import. I'm gonna go back to my downloads folder, choose the meeting, choose PDF app images. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in the PDF template. And hit open. That is going to add the page template to the next page in Cadence in the page sorter. I can tap on that and that's going to give me my template. Now from here, I can enable the pencil. From here, I can choose images, choose insert from, go back to my downloads folder, two meetings, to PDF app images. And the first thing I want to pull in is I want to pull in the agenda. I'm going to choose a small one and that's going to pull that in here. And then I can just go ahead, place that where I like it, go back here and follow that same process as I build out my page. And I can continue to build out the page. I can also with these tiles, say for example, if I wanted to disable this, 
go back to the key page and choose a daily page. So we'll choose June, choose the 14th. And from here, I can pull in that same widget. And what I just was able to do here is on my daily page, I was able to use those tiles and pull them into the actual planning system. And now I can take my daily page and personalize it by adding a task list and some information about projects. That is where tiles and digital stickers really take digital planning to the next level because you can go throughout all of our tiles, if it be contact tiles, meeting tiles, project tiles, life wheel balance tiles, and a slew of additional tiles that we build. And if you have an idea for a tile, let us know. We can easily create your personal worksheets, notes, images, and ideas and allow us to make you a tile that you can use to personalize your experience any further. So guys, that is a look at tiles, specifically the meeting tiles, and how you can utilize it across OneNote or PDF annotations. Throughout this video, if you learned one thing about customizing and developing and expanding your knowledge in digital planning, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more of what we cover in the digital world and professional planning ecosystem. Uh, with that being said, if you do have a question, go ahead, hit the comments myself or somebody else in the community. I'm sure we'll be able to reach out to you. And guys, Lord willing, I hope to see you in the next video.